Why is it so hard to get a cybersecurity job? I'm sure you're thinking, well, it's because I don't have two to three years of experience. That I have seen isn't always the case. And in this video, I'm gonna go over some common reasons why you're not getting a job in cybersecurity to help troubleshoot on why you're not landing your first job. If you don't know who I am, I'm Nicole, and this channel is all about helping you change your career into tech. So go ahead and smash that like button right now. The first reason why you may not be getting a job is that your resume is horrible. I have seen a lot of different resumes. Many are just plain awful. So even if you have a somewhat decent resume, you're gonna be ahead of the majority of people. Remember that there, at every company there is a candidate pipeline and at the top of the pipeline is your resume or your LinkedIn. And then through there, you're gonna to go to your phone screening interview offer. And if you never get past the resume or LinkedIn, you're never gonna to get to talk to anyone and you're going to be looked over. This is the sad, sad part. With your resume, you're also building it for four people, making it even just a little bit more complicated. The applicant tracking system, the hiring manager, the recruiter, the human resources, the team that is hiring you is all looking at your resume. And at any point they could be like, this resume is not what we need. And it may be that you have the skills, you just didn't correctly represent them on your resume. Make sure to have a good resume. I do have a totally free resume template below, no cost to you. You can go ahead and check that out. The second reason you may not be getting a tech job is that you're applying to jobs you're not qualified for or your resume does not reflect that you're qualified for them. You have to be qualified for jobs that you are applying to. You have to show that you have qualified yourself or that you're aiming for this. So if you have skills in say human resources and you want to become a network engineer, there is a very large gap there that you're going to have to like fill. If you are working in HR and you want to become, say, an IT support specialist, this is totally doable because you probably have really good communication skills, which is what you need as an IT specialist. The next reason you may not be getting hired is that you have no story. And you can actually, with a good story, you can stand out from the crowd and beat people with more experience. According to this Forbes article, there are three different parts to a storytelling format. The first part is, the problem, so this is an obstacle you had to overcome. Next is action. This is how your brain acts while addressing the problem. And this can show the interviewer how you can troubleshoot and think or solve problems on your own without the hiring manager there. And then the next is the result. So what results did you get for that organization and what positive effect you had? Format could definitely help you land any job in an interview because people really like storytelling. And in fact, storytelling is probably one of the best skills you can have in almost any type of career, including YouTube. The better stories you tell, the more watch time you get. Speaking of the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment below. The next reason you may not be getting a job in cybersecurity or tech is that you live in a weak tech sector. If you have no jobs around you, it makes sense that you're not going to get a job. And with this new world of remote work, there are a lot of remote jobs that you can possibly get. It's slightly higher if you're entry level or trying to change your career, but if you have that proven experience that you can work remote, you can definitely leverage that to your advantage. Also, if you've been in positions where you don't need a lot of supervision, you can highlight that in your resume. You may be even wanting to move out of wherever you live to a bigger city for a year or two, get some experience and then go remote because you do learn a lot from your coworkers. That's the only nice thing I'm going to say about going into the office. Maybe aim for a hybrid work situation that could also be a really good possibility. The next reason you may not be getting a job is that it's all very confusing for someone trying to get skilled in cybersecurity. If you go through the job postings, 
you're going to realize that none of them really make sense a lot, or sometimes they'll have like four different jobs and they'll require like seven years of AWS cloud experience. Nobody has seven years of AWS cloud experience. Come on now. There's no universal bar to make you qualified. And so there's no like real hoop to jump over. So it can be extremely stressful, even for me, someone who's been in the field of cybersecurity and IT for eight years, it's still extremely kind of overwhelming looking at all these jobs because I'm like, who has this experience, right? But you have to remember, you have to take those job descriptions with a grain of salt. So when it says two to three years of experience, I would just ignore that. Just ignore the years of experience. It's just HR being gatekeeping. Go ahead and apply. Don't disqualify yourself because I've been guilty of disqualifying myself. Um, just go ahead and apply. While you're applying, smash that like button. The next reason could be that you're not niching down and your resume is very broad. So this is a little bit confusing because a lot of people think cybersecurity is just one job, but really it's like hundreds of different jobs. So if you niche down your cybersecurity skills, you have a more targeted approach instead of a shotgun approach, and you're more likely to land that job that you want. My next reason that you may not be landing a job in cybersecurity and IT, even though your resume is good, your LinkedIn is good, you have the skill set, you're applying to like 20 jobs every single day, is that your LinkedIn and your online branding is not on point and there's something that is found that is not good. For instance, if you have photos of you drinking on your Facebook, there are a lot of like people who don't like that and it could be an unconscious bias that they have against drinking. Also don't include like what your hobbies are in an interview or anything like that because you don't know the perception of the hiring manager and what they think of that. If you say you like, you're a musician, they may think like you're lazy and that that's your real passion and you're only going to half give to that current job. I would definitely try to stalk yourself and do some open source intelligence and try to find out everything about you that can be found on the internet because you're, the company that is trying to hire you is most likely doing that and they may be finding things that you have no idea about. And yes, I have stalked myself before. <laughs> and that is just the conclusion. So that is some of my reasons and troubleshooting that maybe why you can't get a job in cybersecurity and IT. Leave a comment below. Are you having a difficult time getting a job? Let me know out all of my other videos on career and I will see you then. Bye.